Rule number two. Yes, peace. Peace, take that home. That's a clever crack of message that is. You can share it in peace. In, like Peter Geese is a toast. Yeah, yeah. I like toast. Lots Good of pieces. Eggs and soldiers. Yeah, yeah. I love eggs. I love soldiers. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, spread peace like you spread our videos, which is a lot. I know it is. Go on. Yeah, kind of do it, do it. Anyway, rule number two is the quotient rule. So, we've had times and things together and differentiating. So, what's left? It's going to be dividing, Shrift. It's oh. going to be dividing. Got an so example. I'm going to make one up. Y equals All right. x squared over x plus 1. That is dividing. Yep, you can't differentiate that in your core 1 and core 2 methods. You have to use the quotient rule. So, the quotient rule is used when it's u over v, and this matters what order they're in. So, again, we have the equation. It's one a bit bigger than the product rule, isn't it? A little bit. Dy by the x equals v. <laughs> du by dx. Take away u dv by dx all over v squared. That's almost as big as the first time I memorised minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Yeah, that it, it does feel like that. Oh, I've grown so much. Oh, so I haven't noticed a little bit of a, bit of a height difference there. There is, but core 3, to sum up, is a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying, it, it, it's not nice, is it? Anyway, got an example. Yep, so I'm going to rub this one off, this I just made up right now. Yep. So, we have, given that, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. y equals 1 plus x squared over 1 plus e to the x. Find dy by dx, we'll just differentiate it. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So, first you have to write what your u and v are. You can't choose them like the product rule because they have to be this way around. So our u is 1 plus x squared, and our v is 1 plus e to the x. A good way to remember is a u is the numerator, or the numerator. Now, if you need a way to remember it, there's one. I like it, I like it. Yeah, so like last time they liked x squared and e to the x, so it becomes 2x and just e to the x. They don't like ones, so the ones, ones die. They do, they do. Harry died. Oh, he did. Oh, I'm sad now. That was sad times. Anyway. We'll move on. Back to this. Yep, so just like in core one differentiation, you simply differentiate. Now we can apply the core three silly thingy. Quotient rule of death. Yeah. So let's do that. So, we've got v times du dx. So we have v, which is 1 plus e to the x, times du by dx, which is just 2x. Yep. Take away our u, which is our numerator, so it's 1 plus x squared, times by e to the x, all over v squared, which is 1 plus e to the x squared. Now this looks crazy, and that's because it is. You could tidy it up, but you don't really need to in this case, unless they specifically ask tidy it up. I don't know how they ask that, actually. I might just say express it in its simplest forms, something to that extent. Something to that extent. Shall we do it just in case? Or? Yeah, okay. Okay, so firstly to simplify it, I'm going to expand it. Okay. So I can see exactly what's going on. So I'm going to expand each of these brackets, just going to be Yeah, a so one times x everything is x plus 2x, yeah. Minus e to the x, one times e to the x. Yeah. And minus x squared, e to the x, all, all over, over 1 plus e to the x squared. Oh. Absolutely. So I've got a lot of e to the x's going yeah, on. Yeah, I've got a couple there, mate. Yeah. That's that should be. I said it in my head. I didn't write it down. That should be two x e to the x. Ah. So if a lot of e to the x is going on. We can simplify that. So the two x is just going to stay chilling. It is because it has a lot of e to the x part, but the rest so or how you can remove the e to the x part and put the rest in. So you have two x. Oh, sorry. Minus, minus one. one. Sorry. Careful. And positive mine. Absolutely. Minus, minus x squared. And that, that's a bit neater, all over us still, because this hasn't gone here, 1 plus e to the x squared. You can leave it like that, that looks substantially nicer, doesn't it? It looks a lot nicer than that, I think, yeah. Yeah, so now I've done this draw. Last one. Yep, one, two, uh, three. Three. Oh. Any of the mouse helped? Yeah, thanks.